Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm kind of wearing the same dress as I was wearing in my last video and that is because I'm filming both of those videos back to back. So that was about Gucci unboxing. So I unboxed this cutie in that video. So definitely check it out because I do like a tour of this bag and you got, you, you'll enjoy it. But basically today's video, I wanted to kind of do a separate one to go over um, kind of like my experience in Spain because I did get this bag in Spain and just kind of um, you know uh, dealing with the taxes there and how to get how to go about getting your VAT 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 tax back because when I was traveling to Spain I started researching and just kind of figuring out how to do and what to do and just to be prepared there and there were no videos just there was nothing there was no information nothing at all um, just telling me what to expect, how to go about it, anything like that. And because of that, I faced a lot of issues there. Well, not, not issues per se, but I had to ask a lot of questions to a lot of different people. And uh, to be honest, like I, I went to Madrid and not a lot of people spoke English there. So it was so difficult to get the information I need. So anyways, that's why I'm making this video. Hopefully it helps some of you. I, I, I really hope so. But basically in Spain, when you... Well, I, I shouldn't say in Spain, but basically for me, when I bought this bag in Spain in Madrid, they gave me this receipt. So first of all, when you buy in Spain or when you are when you are not a resident of Europe, you should tell them that you're not a resident here and you plan to like go back, you're visiting and you're just shopping. And they're aware of these things happening so don't be afraid to tell them that and as soon as you'll tell them that they will give you like a separate different type of receipt which is going to have taxes calculated separately and it'll tell you like in a section this is how much you can expect to get back when you are leaving Europe so keep in mind that if you guys are kind of staying in Europe and going from one country to another you can't really get your VAT tax back until you completely leave Europe and go to your basically home country. Now, when you are kind of leaving Europe and going to your home country, one of the things you want to keep in mind is that you want to go to the airport super duper early, okay? So I went to the airport like, I don't know, like four hours before my actual flight because I want to make sure that I have plenty of time to get my money back. So anyways, you're gonna check in, you're gonna go through the security, and then after that, um, the way it worked in Spain on the Madrid airport is there are like a lot of different kiosks which kind of, there are agents there and they deal with wet taxes. Now, the thing is these booths are really, really busy, so there's there's a lot of line at these boots and each person takes a really long time. Now, I don't know why, but the booth I was at, every single person was like redeeming multiple things, I, I think. And it was just taking a really, really long time. And before you actually go and stand into one of these boots, you actually have to stop at a little machine and these machines are everywhere. So on in Spain uh, at the Madrid airport I had to actually before stop at this machine this this computer machine and then you tell the machine that you want to get your VAT tax and it's, it would ask you like a few questions it would I think also ask you to insert your receipt so you can do all that stuff and then it'll print out like a number like a confirmation or something like that and then you take that confirmation and then you go to one of these boots and then you give it to them and they basically give your money back so the mistake that i did is i didn't know that you're supposed to be actually stopping at these computer things and like you should get your confirmation before you actually go to the booth so i wasted time i went to the booth first I stood in a long line and then when my turn came, um, you know, the lady at the booth, she's like, okay, where is your confirmation? And I was like, what do you mean? Um, and she's like, did you stop at one of the computers? And I was like, no. And then she's like, okay, well, you got to go back and you got to stop at the computer, get the, like, the, the receipt and then come back to me. So I was like, okay. So then basically I was bumped off the line and then I went to the computer 
I got my confirmation and then I went back to the booth and I had to once again wait in a really long line and I was just kind of freaking out because like my flight time was approaching and it was it was just a mess but here's a tip for you go early and before you stand at one of these booths just make sure you get your confirmation now this was at the Madrid airport I don't know if it is the same kind of deal at all the other airports if it is and if you guys have experienced anything like that definitely let me know in the comment box down below because I'm really really curious because obviously like sometime I'm definitely going to be traveling back to Europe and I'm going to be buying something anyway so it would be nice to know but yeah then basically when you get to the booth um, you give them your receipt you give them your confirmation and then they would ask you if you want your refund or in cash or you want it back in the card or if you want it in euro or if you want it in USD so I opted for cash, obviously, because I was like, just give me my money back right now. So I went for cash and I went for USD. Um, and yeah, they basically gave it to me. And the only thing you want to keep in mind is, remember how I told you earlier that in your receipt that you'll get from the place where you buy your goods, it'll tell you how much tax to expect at the airport. When you actually go to collect your tax, it's gonna be less than that so i was actually really surprised because when they gave me the tax back they gave me actually less than what i was expecting and i asked her i asked the lady about it that i'm actually expecting this much but you're giving me this much and she said that is because all these booths they charge their fee so they charge you for get, doing this transaction for them like for you so basically they would charge you it's their fee that you have to pay them for doing the service for you and that's why I got a little bit less than what I was expecting she did give me another option of um, sending my documents into the government or something like that and then get my refund back via mail a few days later and I just didn't want to get into all of that I was like I don't know what, what will happen once I leave uh, Spain I don't know if I'll be able to get my money back like I, it was just so much uncertainty there so I didn't want to deal with it so I was like whatever just charge your fees and give me back my money that's all it matters I'm just happy that I got my bag so anyways I paid them the fees and she gave me cash back and I came back with it so that was basically my whole experience um, a lot of you know a lot of um, a lot of uncertainties were, were there, of course. I, I didn't know a lot of things. I didn't know what to expect. It's definitely an easy process. It's not difficult, but I feel like if you know how to do everything, it just makes your experience so, so, so much easier. So I hope this video helps you if you're traveling to Spain, Madrid especially, or anywhere in the Europe. And yeah, if you liked this video, found it useful, give it a big, big thumbs up, and I'll see you guys now in my next video very soon.